Hello YouTube, Desiki here, and welcome to the first episode of our Let's Play Subnautica series. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with Subnautica, it's essentially a uh, underwater survival game. Uh, that being said, it uh, it follows the same premise of all other uh, either maybe uh, zombie survival games, whether you're talking about DayZ or, or all the others, uh, Rust, etc. Um, it's the same principle. You have uh, you need food to survive. You then get to craft items. Uh, you do have a lot of uh, I guess creatures, things like that, trying to kill you. Uh, this is, however, a, a single player only game. And uh, let's I'm actually getting started here in uh, in our series or at least in our save game. So we have we have three options. We have hardcore. Um, we have survival. We have freedom. So freedom essentially, you uh, you always have the uh, the oxygen and your health to worry about. So when you dive down, you have a certain amount of time that you have oxygen in your tank, and then the health obviously is being attacked by by whatever creatures or, or things like that. And uh, survival, well, you have water and food that you need to worry about as well. So we're gonna go ahead and start with a uh, survival mode. Uh, there's a little bit of an intro video here, so I'll just uh, I'll be quiet for a second and we'll let you listen to that. As soon as it starts. Any minute now. In the late 22nd century, humanity is beginning to colonize space. Before colony ships arrive, habitation vessels are appointed terraforming missions. The Aurora was one such vessel. During its descent, the Aurora was struck by a mysterious energy pulse, resulting in catastrophic hull failure. A single life pod jettisoned prior to impact. You were in that life pod. So here we are, our barely holding together life pod. <clears throat> Go outside to see what everything looks like. There's our massive ship that's been hit by whatever beam of energy that whatever it was that that took us down. And uh, and this is the this is the ocean. This is absolutely everything that we have around us. Endless water. All right. Quick overview on the inside. Uh, so in the beginning, you're pro primarily going to be doing all of your crafting and, and most likely uh, any kind of overnight uh, survival. Uh, obviously, oh, nighttime is going to be a little bit more dangerous in terms of other creatures. Uh, you do have storage. Let's see what we have here in the storage bin. We have batteries and we have some glass. Anything else in here? No, I guess that was it. Uh, otherwise, otherwise, that's about it that you start with. You have your fabricator. So fabricator is going to be the tool that you use to either create or uh, harvest resources and craft any kind of uh, any kind of equipment, any kind of uh, uh, tools, vehicles, etc. As well as uh, preparing your food. So you have water that you can prepare. You also have your uh, categories in terms of materials, electronics. So here, here again. So the batteries that we saw before, you require two, three, sorry, acid mushrooms for those, and some copper ore, uh, power cells, computer chips, etc. So all of these go into uh, go into actually crafting other uh, other elements. Uh, what do we have here? So we have some titanium, some silicone. So this is just like basic raw materials. We will look at water. We have some disinfected water. We require bleach to uh, to disinfect water. Uh, otherwise, not showing us the food because we don't actually have any fish on us right now. We have equipment. So one of our first items we're probably going to want to craft is a tank that's going to give us 30 seconds of additional um, time underwater. <clears throat> and um, one of them that I believe, and this is in the later build, so we're still in early access, still in the alpha build only. And uh, as of May, they have... They have this this sort of this portion of the game that there's a radiation. So there's an explosion from the ship that had crashed outside, and eventually you need a radiation suit uh, to craft that. So we need some silicone. We need some lead. If you want to find out, obviously, what we need to uh, to eventually get the silicone. So silicone, we need some quartz. Quartz is something that you'll find out in the ocean in the in the bush. It's like this prickly. It looks like a prickly, shiny bush, and you'll see it. Uh, you'll see it underneath in the ocean. It kind of looks like the algae down there. Otherwise, we needed lead. So lead, we needed some copper, and we needed some silver ore. So we're going to be doing some uh, some gathering there. Otherwise, you get into the uh, the vehicles a little bit later on, and we get some additional tools. So a knife would be a good idea to get in the beginning. So we're going to need some titanium, some silicone, and 
<clears throat> titanium and glass. Glass is something that we already have. So right off the bat, here we are underwater. We're going to start by picking up some fish. We need food. We need food. And these little guys here, these little boomerang dude, this guy's, I think I can catch this one. No, these are the guys that are really quick. These boomerang guys, probably a little bit easier to catch. Eh, they're, they're all pretty quick, aren't they? Uh, 15 seconds remaining. Here we go. We're going to have to... It's a bit of a grind in the beginning where you have to... Ooh, we already found this tunnel. Uh, there's a bit of a grind in the beginning to, uh, to get, uh, to get your food ready. There we go, we caught one. You need enough food to, to survive over a long period of time. And, uh, you need the additional re Oh, I missed him. There we go. And you need some additional resources to be able to craft those, uh, whatever it is that you, uh, that you want to be building. Whether it be some tools, etc., things like that. Let's get some, is it like an air pocket? There we go, we got you two. We're gonna pick up as many as we can of these. All right, we need to go up. Luckily, we're in the shallow area right now, so that's that's a good thing that we're able to do. Scanning the aurora. Zero life signs detected. Lethal radiation levels detected. The main drive core has malfunctioned. The primary dark matter containment field has dropped to 36% amplitude. Continuing to monitor. All right, so I think if we hit tab... What do we have here? We have five fish. Five fish. So the message that uh, the automated uh, system gave us there is that's that's essentially what's going to be happening in the next the next day or so. That that ship, the core, at least the nuclear core, of the ship is going to blow up, and uh, we're gradually going to start getting exposed to uh, to radiation, which, uh, as you can imagine, probably not very good for our health. So we're going to have to work really quickly to. Oh yes, we're going to have to work. All right, all right. We really need that tank. It's insane. Uh, we're going to have to work really quickly to get that radiation suit. Because otherwise, we are not going to survive. Okay. <clears throat> Feeling pretty confident for the fish. However, you can't eat the, fro the raw fish as is. You need... I believe it was... Yeah, you need salt. What is that? All right, buddy. Scared the crap out of me. Um, yeah, so you need salt deposits to uh, sort of, I guess, treat, disinfect, whatever it is that you need to do to the to the fish to make it uh, to make it edible. Um, and the salt deposits are quite difficult to find because they're tiny, tiny little cubes. They look like sugar cubes, a little bit bigger than sugar cubes that you see. No, not not like that. But we'll pick that up because I believe this is going to give us some. Uh, the sea moth is one of the uh, one of the types of ships that we can uh, we can craft eventually. But we need right now is some salt deposits. There we go. Saw it in the corner of my eye. We got ourselves some salt deposit here. Very good. But it is a one-to-one -one ratio, so we're going to have to find a lot more. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Oh. So we have to be careful. That's the, uh... That's a different biome. They have a couple of biomes in the game, and that's... That one is called... Yeah, get away from those. That is called the Kelp Forest. And I forget the name of the creatures that are in there, but they are... They are the main issues at the very start. At the very start, you have to be careful who you run into. Calorie deficiency. All right, so let's go in. Let's at least make a little bit of food. We're in trouble. We're in big trouble here. <clears throat> let's go to our fabricator. Uh, cooked food. Let's make an air sac. Cook you. Via laser beam. Um... Oh, wait a minute, did they? We have cooked food, we have cured food. Car salt deposit. Oh, we could just cook! This is new! Preserved boomerang. Preser oh, so we can cure food. It'll probably last a little bit longer, I would assume. Alright, so let's, let's have a little something to eat here. Cooked. 
Yes, yes. Um, sign eat. Switch container. Yeah, that's fine right now. Uh, let's cook a little bit more. Because we really need it. <clears throat> a little curious to see what the difference is in terms of uh, nutrient values from cured to uh, cook to cured. I'm assuming nutrient values are a little bit better with the cured. But, uh, all right, so what do we have? So we have food plus 21. Oh, so the cure actually takes away from our H2O. Okay, so there's no reason for us to... Yeah, there we go. There's no reason for us to, to uncook food. Oh, it's also starting to get dark. Uh, all right, well, at least in the darkness, we get to see the quartz a little bit better. Hopefully nothing comes out to attack us. Should be okay. Should. <clears throat> uh, can we catch people? No, nope, couldn't catch you. All right, at least the nighttime allows us to see a little bit more of the resources out here. So let's not go too far. Where's our pod? Anything else we can grab? Well, that's a new addition. It lights up at night. That's kind of nice. There's a lot of development in this game. It's actually really nice. There's support so far. I mean, it is early access, so I'm assuming that they're they're still working very hard at it. It's not like it's releasing in a beta or or, or uh, the first release of the game, and they just kind of stopped developing for it afterwards. They, uh, they maintain it quite a bit. It's actually really nice. All right, so we got our food, <clears throat> or at least somewhat enough food for now. Let's grab this boomerang fish here. There we go. We have enough lot of room. All right, we got a lot of fish. We got some quartz. Let's go up again. We have 20 seconds of air. We're going to have to build that tank as soon as possible. We need a knife, too. Uh, let's grab this scrap metal. We have some limestone right here. So limestone, we have to break it. It breaks in one shot when you have a knife. And we just picked up some, some free titanium. Uh, peeper, peeper. No, that's fine. I don't have any room any left. Okay, so uh, we're going to go cook some food. We're going to eat some food. We're going to craft. I believe we can craft our very first item. Uh, all right, so let's cook an air sack. We're going to eat that air sack. <clears throat> and uh, in terms of bleach, I think we're going to need some bleach. Somewhat soon. Glass, silicone, titanium, bleach, salt deposit, coral chunk. Um, easy to find, but okay. So whenever we find salt deposit, we're going to pick it up. Salt deposit is going to be going more towards uh, the water treatment. Otherwise, we have lead there. We need a silver core. We're not, we're not quite ready yet for that. And uh, let's actually build a tank. We have tank, and then we have a knife that we want as well. What do we need for the knife? So we need silicone for that. We already have titanium. And for the silicone, we already have silicone. Excellent. So let's get some titanium from our scrap metal. <clears throat> That's fine. Let's do it again. It's going to take up a little bit less room. We have a lot of scrap metal. There's no use for it for other than titanium, at least for now. Let's go with that. <coughs> One more. Oh, I just noticed another thing. We have a power indicator up here at the top center. <clears throat> There's a power indicator for the, uh, I'm assuming, for this vessel. Well, that's new storage. What else do we have here? <clears throat> yeah, there we go. So we have our power cells here that change. All right, so that's all new. That's not a huge deal. We have batteries. But uh, just as a quick reminder, power cells... From two batteries and silicone, so we'll be okay. And then from this, we need acid, mushroom, and copper core. So it's it's not a huge deal to be able to uh, to craft those. Okay, let's go build our tank. 
because we're getting a little fed up with having to go above ground or at least above the water all the time. And let's build a knife. Knife, we're missing one piece of silicone. Silicone we need some quartz for. We all have this. We have everything. Hmm. There we go. Excellent. Let's go catch more fish and let's aim for... So we need the silver cores. I believe, unfortunately, the silver cores are in a little bit more difficult spots to pick up. Unfortunately, we're going very, very low. Very low. Ooh, salt deposit. Of course, I have the attention span of a five-year-old. As soon as I see something, I want to pick it up. Uh, I have 50 seconds remaining. So we're going to get our silver cores in the limestone. There's some limestone. Is that some limestone? Did we just pick up Oh, we just picked it up. Oh, I see that. There we go. Please. Oh, there's another one over there on the right. Okay. Anybody around us? Oh, I see another one. Okay. We're in, hopefully we'll be in luck. Okay. Out of here. We are out of here. Come on. <clears throat> Let's build that radiation suit. Get it over with. Um, we needed lead, right? We don't have enough copper ore? We put all the copper ore in here, didn't we? One. Let's put the quartz back. <clears throat> we have silver. Our fish are there. Alright, so we're short some copper ore. We need a total of... We need five more. Yeah, we need six in total. We need four. Let's go back to our pod over here. Get a radiation suit before it actually blows up in our face. The ship that is, not the radiation suit. And move on to building much more interesting items. All right, lead. <clears throat> Build one. Two. Good. I was worried that we were missing some. Um, now, radiation suit. What are we missing? Silicone. Two silicone. Uh, that's the quartz that we need. Two silicone. One more. We're short on it? No, we're good. Alright, that suit. It's kind of interesting. The two silicone, two lead. We build the radiation suit, but that's fine. Are we wearing it? Radiation, radiation, radiation gloves. Good. We're done. We're set. Uh, one more thing that might be a good idea to build right now is the fins. We need silicone two for fins. Might as well just build those while we're here. That'll help us move a little bit faster. I didn't expect those two tanks to really slow us down. Now we have no quartz. Any quartz in here? Uh, no quartz in here. Let's let's go pick up some quartz. Emergency readings from the Aurora show severe instability. In it's okay. Blow up. You can blow up all you want. We're safe. Ooh, it's gonna blow up now. Good timing, huh? Oh. Whoa. Wow. For real? Look at the fish. All right, well, we're safe. All right, night time. All right. 
I think I'm going to put a cut in it right now. Um, we have our... We have a good basics going on right now. We have we have food. Uh, we discovered that we don't need necessarily salt deposit to be uh, cooking the food. So we can just cook the food, use a salt deposit for the water when we actually really do need it. Uh, we have a radiation suit. We have a knife. We have our flippers. Uh, however, I think our main objective at this point, we will want to be building... We will want to be building some additional machines or tools. In terms of these tools, we don't really need anything right now. A sea glide is really what we want. We have a battery, however, we need those batteries for the power cells. And the copper wire, you build copper wire based on copper ore. So it's it's kind of a logical step. So that's not going to be much of an issue. I think uh, next episode, we're going to be moving towards uh, building a sea glide. And uh, slowly slowly building our, uh, our inventory up. Slowly building our, our abilities to... Uh, to um, to create bigger ships and eventually go into uh, building underwater sea bases. So, uh, so that's it for now. Um, oof, just realizing that uh, we're gonna have to work on the, the power of this pod. That's it for now. So, uh, if you like what you see, this is the first time we do this episode. Not sure if uh, everybody's gonna like it. It's a little different from what uh, from what we usually do from the the, um, the regular roguelikes. But uh, really had a lot of interest in this game. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you like the episode, if you like the, um, the, the video, please uh, leave a like on the, um, on the uh, video page. I really appreciate those. And uh, please subscribe. That will give you the ability to, uh, to see the new Let's Plays that, uh, that I'm uploading on a regular basis. So uh, thanks for watching. That's it for now. Bye-bye.